Hello and good day to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Simon Barry's vlog, day number five for the Amy Landino Savvy Sexy Social Vlog Every Day in April Challenge. And uh, I'm going to talk today about courage, uh, bravery, um, doing something a little bit different. And I'm going to relate to you a story um, that that shows a bit of bravery and it's a it's a favorite story I like to tell so uh, when I was a kid I was growing up uh, in Scotland and uh, we used to walk to school and uh, on the corner near school was a quite a vicious dog um, it was it was an Alsatian and it always barked really loudly um, it was always tired outside the garden on the corner and uh, all us children were very very afraid of this dog it, it would literally just go for people um, and uh, obviously be restrained by this this tight leash um, that was on it and no one would go near this dog it was uh, um, you know clearly ex-police or, or military or, or whatever so uh, so people were scared and, and rightly so it was a it was a pig and uh, when you were quite young uh, I think I was seven or eight at the time it was quite a big dog now maybe it was stupidity uh, maybe it was uh, bravery um, maybe it was a mix of both and maybe i wanted to show to my friends that uh, sometimes you can do something different and and maybe maybe just maybe um, i wanted to get out of my comfort zone um, so what i did um, which felt a bit silly at the time and Certainly, my friends were like, "Simon, you don't, don't do that." No, that was completely stupid. Um, I went up and I knocked on the door. Uh, walking past said vicious dog, um, who, who I later knew was Hamish, um, and knocked on the door. And this man in a military uniform answered the door. And uh, I said, uh, "Can I take your dog for a walk?" And he looked at me and kind of said, "Well." Of course you can, um, but uh, Hamish doesn't get taken for walks. Uh, you get taken for walks by Hamish. And uh, I was therefore told to wrap the rope around my arm, which was tied to Hamish's collar. And I then took Hamish for a walk and Hamish ran. And uh, Hamish's owner was completely right. Uh, <laughs> Hamish, Hamish pulled me um, and I remember scrabbling over fences and um, over steep hills and, uh, and over walls and things while Hamish was having the time of his life and I did not want to let go. Now, did Hamish bark a lot? Hell yes. Was I scared? I was really, really, really quite scared. But Hamish kind of respected me. Hamish respected the fact that I decided to take him for a walk and he loved it. He loved going for a walk. And uh, I think Hamish's owner appreciated the fact that he could probably sit down with a cup of tea. Um, well, some crazy school kid decided to take his vicious dog for a walk. Now it turned out Hamish was a uh, an army dog. Um, and of course on command he could probably do quite vicious, nasty things. Um, Hamish's bark was certainly way worse than his bite. He would never bite any school children um, he was just protecting his property um, and of course I could then boast as I walked past Hamish every day while he would growl and bark and run all the school kids I could go over and pat Hamish and stroke him um, and he would be very nice to me so uh, I was seen as the the brave kid at school um, so let's let's try and reframe this as a as a business lesson so what I did in that moment was get out of my comfort zone, do something that was brave and, and maybe what seemed maybe silly and foolhardy at the time, but actually turned out to be a very good decision. I made friends with Hamish, I made friends with the owner who had Hamish, and I loved taking Hamish for walks. It was good for me, it was good for Hamish, it was good for the owner, and quite frankly, I didn't have a pet myself at home. Um, that I could take for walks. I actually had a cat, um, and 
I could take a dog for a walk. I always wanted a dog, and it was brilliant. So win-win all around. Uh, and of course, I had the admiration and bravery and kudos from my school friends thinking I was some crazy madman who could tame a vicious dog, which was not the truth, because Hamish was actually a big softy. So the moral of the story is, guess what? Sometimes our perception about how bad things could be and their idea about what things are. Hamish is this vicious dog who will clearly bite me and devour me um, and have me for his tea was not true. Okay, um, Hamish's owner told me Hamish was a big softy and quite frankly he was. Um, taking that leap of faith, certainly you can in a business or if you're trying to start a new business or maybe you're trying to enter a new market or maybe you're trying to do something new, launch a product or a new service, sometimes taking that leap of faith separates you from everyone else. Now, the average person will probably sit there in their day job and dreaming about having their own company or dreaming of expanding their company or doing better or adding rocket fuel to their business. But most people, most people wouldn't approach Hamish. Most people wouldn't get out of their comfort zone and actually do that. And the people that do aren't exactly special or crazier or, or madder than everyone else. It's They've got the attitude of thinking, well, what, what do I have to lose? What, what do I have to lose if I go in and maybe Hamish turns out to be more vicious than I thought? Well, I could have just run away right, and never gone near Hamish again. I would have known. But I took the chance that actually Hamish was a dog and owned by someone and clearly must have behavioural standards. I took the chance. And, and that's what we have to do in business. We have to take the chance that things will work out. Will they all the time? Absolutely not. But guess what? Some of the chances you take will work out spectacularly. And I think that's what separates out. You know, there are some people who, who are putting these pedestals of doing amazing things because they're no more special than me or you. All they've done is they've, uh, they've gone and taken Hamish for a walk. So my challenge to you, go and take Hamish for a walk. <laughs> so my name is Simon Barry. I add rocket fuel to your business and take your business to the next level. If you want to get in touch with me, hit me up in the comments below. And alternatively, wait to the end of the video and you will find all my details there. As I always say in my vlogs, if you want any more information, just let me know. Plus, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a like and a subscribe. Please share the story of Vicious Hamish <laughs> with your friends. Um, I'd love any of your thoughts. And even if you were in Ellen around about 1983, 84, you may even remember Vicious Hamish. Um, that is my vlog for today. Um, I thought bravery in getting out of your comfort zone was a pretty good one. Certainly for me, one of the things is vlogging which is getting out of my comfort zone because I must admit I find it a challenge to do so. Um, I look at other people doing it and of course we should never compare ourselves to others. I think they're superstars and I think <laughs> that here. I've got to take Hamish for a walk and you should too. So until the next vlog, ladies and gentlemen, I shall love you and leave you.